Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I would like to talk about PlayStation 5's processor, or should I really say the main chip, SOC, system on the chip. And the reason why it's called system on the chip, because it contains a number of different modules like CPU, GPU, memory, memory controller, that's why it's called like that. It's not just processor, because when we talk about processors, we, we think CPU, but and it contains both. So there's another name for it, APU, but let's not uh, get th things more complicated. Either way, let's talk about this main PlayStation 5 chip. According to WCCFTech.com, PlayStation 5's main chip has been shrinked and it's actually 20, almost 20% smaller, which obviously allows for PlayStation 5 to be cooler because it draws less electricity. And um, so that's obviously very good news. So according to WCCF Tech, uh, Sony's PlayStation 5 model CFI 1200 series comes with enhanced AMD Oberon SoC, known as Oberon Plus, which utilizes the TSMC 6 nanometers process. TSMC made this process of so 6 nanometers compatible with 7 nanometers, meaning that it allows partners to easily port existing 7 nanometers chips to the 6 nanometer node without running any um, any major redesigns. Because, for example, if Sony were to like shrink it to 5 nanometers, they would have to make like a new design. So obviously that makes things complicated. So that's extremely good news for a number of reasons because um, it, it makes the chip almost 20% smaller, I think, around that size. And um, actually, the new die measures around 216 millimeters square, square millimeters, which is 15% reduction in die size compared to 7 nanometers, uh, which was 300 square mill millimeters square. So, um, yeah, that's actually very good news. Uh, also, that means that uh, PlayStation or Sony, should I say, can produce 20% more chips uh, uh, at the same cost, basically, right? So that's a, a cost saving for PlayStation. So that's good news for Sony because they can make more of these chips and that will cost them less. But it's good news for us. Well, for those of us, those of you that will buy this new model because that console will uh, draw less electricity, around 15, 20%. And also uh, it will be cooler quieter although playstation 5 is quiet anyway so it's not really big of a deal but what it will be also more reliable so that kind of console will probably last you longer uh, because yeah it's it's cooler it doesn't you know the, the less heat it produces the better for the chip basically right so you know that's good news and it's actually kind of interesting i was not expecting that uh, redesign well it's hard to call it really redesigned because at the end of the day uh, it's, it's the same chip just you know more re reliable more power efficient but i was not expecting sony to go six nanometers that fast right um because yeah i mean there's um, limited um, cap capability when it comes to TCMC, of, of course, and uh, well, kudos to Sony for doing that. But that also opens interesting possibility of like PlayStation 5 Slim in the future. Um, because I was thinking, because I've got my day one PlayStation 5 here at home, and I was thinking that maybe I should sell it and buy that new model, right? But I was like, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for me, of course. But so I would rather wait for PlayStation 5 Slim. Um, so which probably going to appear right at some point in the future, maybe like a year, two years from now. Um, so we'll see. I mean, that kind of makes sense because that would introduce even more cost savings for Sony. And uh, even that kind of chip on five nanometers would be even more power efficient. So yeah, obviously more chips for Sony, smaller box, so, uh, you know, more cost effective. And for us, that would mean that, you know, PlayStation would be smaller, right? And, you know, PlayStation 5 is actually a bulky console. Um, 
So yeah, that would be cool uh, to have. So yeah, guys, like very good news. And it's actually good to see that they improving these consoles. Uh, not to say that there there's, has, there has been any major problems with PlayStation 5. Yes, there were some instabilities of systems at, at the very beginning of this generation, but most of them has been fixed, if not all of them. I never had any issues with PlayStation 5. Maybe it crashed on me like once or twice. Never had to rebuild the database and that kind of stuff, although I've seen quite a lot of people doing that. Uh, doing that. But, um, you know, um, either way, uh, that console is going to be even more reliable now on that six nanometers process. So any new consoles, um, I mean, 1200 uh, series is just going to be better, uh, more power efficient, cooler, and, um, you know, it's just and more reliable in my opinion, right? So uh, these higher clock speeds that PlayStation 5 has to reach will be more achievable on these chips and you know probably sony will be able to um get more out of the wafer right so anyway that's the news uh, short but sweet i would say very interesting tech news and uh guys so i hope you enjoy this video i will continue making those videos uh, now uh because i've got more uh time now on this channel as i promised there this is going to be playstation dedicated channel so i hope you like this content and there will be more so guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it and as always i will see you all in the next one take care